Hi everyone and welcome to PJs with PJ, Pajama Talks with Pastor Jeannie. A place where you can go wearing your pajamas, drinking your coffee, because um, that's how I show up. No makeup um, and my hair looks in disarray on different days because it's just a place to be comfortable and to hear what God may have placed on my heart to share with you. I am Pastor Jeannie Sortland, and I serve the Kensal United Methodist Church and St. John's United Methodist Church in Wimbledon, North Dakota. And I am so glad that you are here with me. And it's the day after Thanksgiving, which was different this year. Um, we didn't gather with the large family as we typically do, but it still ended up being a really nice day at my house. And so I'm hoping that's how it was for you. Um, the kids and I started with the food preparations, maybe Tuesday, I think Tuesday, we started with pies. Wednesday, we did the, the buns and caramel rolls and, and some other of the, you know, pre-prep that we could do with some of the other food. And then, um, I was astounded with how easily my kids pitched in and helped yesterday. I didn't have to really ask them. I just said, hey, I could use someone to set the table and boom, there were volunteers. And I showed them how I wanted it done and nobody complained and nobody said I was fussy. And it was just, I don't know, it was a really nice time for our family working together so we could have a nice meal together. We used the china and the crystal and the fancy silverware. And yeah, it was just um, a real special time for us. And we did go around the table um, sharing the things that we're grateful for. And um, we would think we were done and then somebody would say, oh, wait a minute, I, I have another one I thought of. And so that was kind of fun. And so today, of course, you know, I ate far too many carbs yesterday and I'm just kind of dragging around. And um but yet, what keeps going through my head, and I don't know if you know the hymn, Tis a Gift to be Simple. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free. And you really don't want me singing the whole time. So I will share um, the other lyrics, at least from the one verse. And this is an 1848 hymn that's attributed to the Shakers. Now, I don't know if you know much about the Shakers, but... Um, they were also called the Shaking Quakers because they split off from the Quakers because they felt um, a need to be more charismatic in their worship, you know, moving more and um, doing things a little differently. And the Quakers weren't as comfortable with that. And so, so then they separated and the Shakers ended up doing all this communal living and it's some interesting history if you want to check out the Shakers. But anyway, the words to the hymn um, are, "'Tis a gift to be simple, a gift to be free. "'Tis a gift to come down where you ought to be. "'And when I've... Sorry, I can't read my own handwriting. Um, and when we find ourselves in the place just right, t'will be in the valley of love and delight. And that just really it brought it home for me. Tis the gift to come down where you ought to be and how busy we rush around and, and really with our loved ones is the valley of delight. And spending time with them matters. It, relationships improve. And, and that's one thing that I've really been noticing um, during this time of pandemic when, where we have spent more time together as a family. Um, we have bonded closer together. And so I'm hoping that's the case for most of you and so a little precursor, um, we gifted um, the families in both churches um, with faithful families. 
an Advent book. Um, and even if you don't have kids at home, there's some great practices in this book. And so that's, we're going to start talking about those things on Sundays um, through Advent. I had said that we were going to do um, the study Advent Conspiracy, but there was some mix up with my communication in the conference and I didn't get the materials. And then um, I said, oh, I'm going to follow up on that. And a clergy colleague said, yeah, you're kind of late. You should really have that wrapped up by Advent. And so I'm going to put that on the back burner. And we are just going to talk about um, our faith practices in our homes and how important that is. And so I'm looking forward to spending this time and um, I'm encouraging everyone to just come down where you ought to be during this Advent season as we prepare for the birth of our Savior. So we'll kick off Advent on Sunday and go from there. So I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and thanks for being with me today. Bye-bye.